Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's install some beards, brows, and hair. So let's go ahead and start with uh, creating that separator. So copy that, click under three dots, and then create separator, paste. Okay. And now let's get situated over here. Bring this down. I'm gonna bring all these down. And click on downloads here. Cool. Yeah, let's cut out this old stuff. And you know what? First order of business. Let us endorse all these deserving mods. They work hard, guys. They deserve it. Oops. Endorse. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we've got everybody up to speed. Yeah, we do. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, first up, beards. This mod replaces the existing beards with high-resolution hand-painted beards that are true to the vanilla style, but look so much more photorealistic. Beards also feature added beard styles that were present in the Skyrim files, but not enabled in the game. Hmm. Let's download it. Mod Manager download. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's install it. Oh, we got the full mod, full mod. Let's expand the full mod. So we want the full install, and we want Ultra 4K install. Cool. Activate and move on. Next up, brows. This mod replaces the existing eyebrows with high resolution, high resolution hand painted eyebrows that are true to the vanilla style, but looks so much more photorealistic. Brows also feature added brow styles that will be added along the way as the mod develops. Very cool. Okay, let's do it. Click download, click on files, and mod manager download. And we also would have a format for these. So let's look at the instructions. So we want vanilla only. And we want the Ultra install. Activate. And uh, moving on. Kalili's Brows adds 12, 17 new eyebrows for female characters, including asymmetrical ones. So two different about bra mods. Interesting. I don't remember if I've ever... Yeah, I downloaded this before. Okay. And I think I downloaded the right version, didn't I? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's install it. Okay, activate. And now we're doing KS Hairdo's SSE. This mod adds a large number of high quality hairstyles to the char uh, character creator in KS Hairdo's SSE. Let's download it. Here it is. And yeah, that's a good size download. So it's gonna take a little bit. But dude, check out my download speeds. 33 megabytes a second. Man, if I ever have to move, I'm going to have to make sure that I have uh, <laughs> like Google Fiber or something. Because I, I, I just can't imagine life without it now. <laughs> okay, install it. Okay, and then activate it. More realistic hair. This mod retextures hair for a more realistic appearance. And this is a Skyrim Legendary Edition mod. Files and Mod Manager download. Next up, Superior Lore Friendly Hair HD Textures. This mod is a texture replacer for vanilla hair, meaning it doesn't need any ESP, nor it will not install new hairstyles to the game. It will just change the appearance of vanilla hair. And we want the updated 2.03 version, and it's also a Skyrim Legendary Edition mod. So click on download, click on files, and uh, I don't remember. All-in-one installer, Bane package. Okay. Doo -doo. Scroll down, and here it is, right here. Mod Manager download. Download it. Double-click to install it. And let's look at the full mod. So, the first one we want rough. Texture size we want quality. Then install. Moving on, moving on. KS Hairdo's 1.7 Salt and Wind. KS Hairdo's 1.7 with Salt and Wind textures completely redone. We want the main file. Uh, we want the update file, which is a hotfix. Let's do it. So let's get the main file. Download. And it's a decent size. Just uh, over 600 megabytes of data. And then we also want this hotfix here. So let's download that too. And since it's a... Uh, 
update file, we're gonna merge it into the main file. Okay, let's install the main file first. Okay. And now the hotfix. We just wanna make sure that the name matches and it does, click okay, and then merge. And then activate and endorse if you can. And I can't. Apparently that's the very first time I've ever downloaded that mod. Interesting. Okay, Pandables, male, salt, and wind retexture. Support retexture of Pandables NPCs, males, hair textures with salt and wind ones. I guess it just makes it so it looks less uh, glamorous and more realistic, maybe. So, click on Mod Manager Download to download it. I don't know, still looks kind of glamorous to me. Either way, I love it. Okay, let's install it. Double click, okay. And activate. Next up, the Ordinary Women Salt and Wind Textures. This mod is a rough hair retexture for on the Ordinary Women. So let's do it. Download it. Let's take a peek. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. A, a little bit more realistic, I guess. Very cool. All right, install it. Double click, okay. Activate. Kali's, Kalili's, NPC Salt and Wind Retexture. Some Retexture of Kalili's. Download. Files. Mod Manager download. Very good, very good. Double click to install, hit OK. And then activate. And I can't endorse any of these. I've never downloaded these. This, this is all new to me. I love how that the modding community is constantly evolving. Pandables NPCs, Salt and Wind Retextures. A lot of hairy textures. I just want to like look at all of them. Yeah, let's take a quick peek. Why not? Yeah, I like it. I like it so much. All right, next up, Pandables NPCs Dongard Salt and Wind Textures. We know what it does. Let's install it. Okay, now the Dragonborn version for Pandables, Salt and Wind. I can't wait to play this game again. Okay, next up, Bijin Family, Salt and Wind. This is a miscellaneous file, Bijin Family, Salt and Wind. So click on Download, click on Files. Let's go on down to Miscellaneous, look for Bijin Family. Was it Bidgin Family? It was Bidgin Family. Download it. And there's going to be a full mod, so let's go ahead and get ready. Clickety click. Bidgin NPCs, Bidgin War Maidens, Bidgin Wives. And they cover everybody. That's cool. So Jacone, I actually use her appearance and rewrite Sophia's appearance. I always install Sophia later on as an additional mod. I don't think Sophia is in part of this guide anymore. She used to be. But uh, I use NPC uh, Appearance Transfer to do that. So my Sophia looks like this. And in a future video, I will show you how to do that. So subscribe if you want to. Oh, I want to rename this. We're going to uh, rename this Vigin. Vigin. Femori. Salt and Wind. And then OK. Activate. Okay, and finally, for this uh, section, Beard, Sprouts, and Hair, the final mod, are as children, Salt and Wind. And that's also in the miscellaneous section. So let's download it. Where is it? Are as children, Salt and Wind. Click download. This time, I will not forget or rename it. So drop it down. Are as children, Salt and Wind, and okay. Okay, this section went by very quickly, so let's do another. So the next section is eyes. Let us do eyes. So copy, eyes. And now let's create that separator. Create the separator, paste it. Because I'm lazy. Okay. Improved eyes Skyrim. This mod is highly detailed replacements of all existing eyes for all races. Improved eyes. So let's download it. 
and we want the main file very cool it's gonna be a fomod open up the fomod we want the complete version click on next we want the complete full under that version and then under add-ons we don't want any world files we want the dongard eyes next uh, we don't want any textures for vampire eyes and we don't want any textures for serana's eyes very cool i think this is a new mod and uh, we are going to extract this bsa cool and we're going to delete some textures here so right click on approved eyes skyrim open in explorer and now let's go into textures actors character eyes and we're going to delete all argonian eyes and yeah so under search bar here we're going to type in i argonian and then hit enter and those are all the argonian eye textures so highlight them all delete and just uh make yourself feel better press f5 to refresh to see that they're gone excellent we're also going to do demon uh, eye demon so type in i demon enter and there it is let's delete that f5 why not and then we're gonna do khajiit eyes you know what let me just highlight this right there copy paste enter and there they are highlight all of those and delete and then press f5 why not boom see how easy that is you guys are rock stars you you hear me you yeah you you you're a rock star don't you ever forget that Okay, the Eyes of Beauty Vampire Eye, standalone Vampire Eye re Replacer with new improved SE Vampire Eye Mesh, both normal and glowing. Credit to original author Lagram and with permission from that. Okay, let's download it. Eh, I think it was that one. It's gotta be that one. Why are you doubting yourself, JT? Mm -hmm. Download it. Let's get the format ready. Double click to install. We want red vampire eyes glowing. Install. And then activate it. That concludes the eye section. Yeah, that concludes the eye section. Um, yeah, there's only two mods in the next section. Scars, tints, and war paint. So let's do that one too. So let's highlight scars, tints, and war paint. We will copy that. We will create the separator for that. So three dots. Create separator. Paste. And then okay very good all right northbound scars this mod is a high quality retexture of the vanilla scars and adds a few new ones so north born scars download it files mod manager download and double click to install okay and activate let's clean that mess all right, Painterly, a high-res vanilla war paint retexture, and it's a Skyrim Legendary Edition mod. Let us download it. Files. Mod Manager download. Very cool, very, very cool. Double-click to install, and activate it. Okay, guys, in the next video, we are gonna install the animations and skeletons for this uh, guide. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.